Good morning, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford getting you our 10 a.m. Tuesday update on Tropical Storm Brett. Not much has changed as far as its intensity. It still has 40 mile per hour winds out here in the Atlantic Ocean. Not seeing it really take on a great shape at this point. In fact, we're seeing some of the thunderstorms kind of separating a little bit, but 50 mile per hour winds as of right now, it's winds for the sustained wind speeds are at 40 miles per hour and the 50 mile per hour is for gusts. Wanted to point out that is unchanged from earlier today. It is moving fast though. In fact, picking up speed at 21 miles per hour. This is the next wave that we've talked about Invest 93 following behind, which I'll talk about in a second. But first, the latest on Tropical Storm Brett looks like it may not uh, reach hurricane status. We will see that would be a change from the forecast previously from the National Hurricane Center. Part of that may be because it's going so fast. And then also once it gets into the Caribbean Sea, look at this by Saturday, the National Hurricane Center has lowered its winds to just 50 miles per hour. And we will see how much it can even sustain itself after that because of troughing here, upper trough, that an upper trough over that part of the Caribbean Sea that will bring some wind shear and probably draw in some dry air. Now talking quickly, and I'll show you models in a second, but also wanted to mention that Invest 93 it now has a high chance of developing if this were to become a tropical storm, which some models are showing it could, it would get the name Cindy. And I just wanted to show you, did you see these um, circles here? Those are the low pressure centers indicated in the red by the GFS, our American global model, and then in the green by the European global model. And they're bringing, you saw Brett into the Caribbean and just kind of losing that low pressure center, not strengthening it at all. Also, you can see the Invest 93 circles indicating where the low pressure for that storm, not a storm yet, but where that eventual system might be. You can see that taking it off to the north a little bit. And indeed, when we look at all the computer models, they're showing pretty much the same thing. Now, Brett, I know it looks like it's moving straight into the Caribbean Sea, might emerge after that. But again, with these obstacles that it has and it's so far out, we just kind of have to wait and see with this one. At this point, it is not a threat to us in the Gulf of Mexico or the Gulf Coast. As for Invest 93, it may curb around some high pressure here and take a little more northward path before it even gets toward the Lesser Antilles and toward the Caribbean. So we will see whether this again becomes potentially Cindy and whether it takes that turn north, but that's how it's looking right now. Both of these are so far out. The reason partially that we're seeing them have this chance to strengthen is because the water over that part of the central Atlantic Ocean is very warm, much warmer than normal or average for this point in the middle to end of June. So we are seeing that able to tap into that and these storms starting to strengthen and get a few more characteristics of tropical storms than maybe it would if it weren't so warm. Also, we've made it through Brett. The next name, of course, would be Cindy. Still tracking Brett. The next name would be Cindy, then Don, Emily, Franklin, and Gert. Of course, we already had Arlene right at the beginning of the season. The first day or two, we had a very brief Arlene in the Gulf of Mexico. It moved south and stayed away from the Gulf Coast and fizzled after about 20 hours. So that's your forecast for what's going on in the tropics right now. Again, just to reiterate along the Gulf Coast in the US, we're really not seeing any direct threats or any uh, possibly even any eventual threats because it looks like they're going to be some obstacles for Brett while Invest 93 may take that turn to the north. So definitely we'll watch everything very closely, but these are way out in the Atlantic and we do not have any threats to our area at this time. We'll get you more updates as they come out for Brett and Invest 93.